So this is another look at The Woman in Black uh, in light of the sequel being released and if you've watched my review of the sequel already you will have learnt that I just don't believe that the films are just, they're just not that great and they will never live up to the stage show and it just, I think I said in my last review that it just will never find the right balance that the stage show has of atmosphere, emotion and shock. So with The Woman in Black I can't help but wonder what the film would have been like if Mark Gattis had written the script because he was offered the role and I do believe that if he'd have done that then we might have had a chance at seeing a completely different film for The Woman in Black. You know it's quite possible that we may have got a true version of the stage play because that's what's most upsetting about The Woman in Black is it's not very true to the stage play. I couldn't tell you if it's true to the book because I just can't bring myself to read it. Uh, if you are only just tuning in, you uh, need to know something about me. My phobia is the woman in black. I'm absolutely terrified of this woman. I went to see the stage play when I was very young. I was a young teenager and it ruined my life. <laughs> It really did just create this horrible thing. I could see projections of her everywhere I go and even talking about her now, I think she's just gonna pop up in the corner of the room. It really just is the most terrifying thing. So people have phobias of spiders, people have phobias of snakes. My phobia is the woman in black. But I have such high regard for the stage show because it really does deliver just on so many different levels. It's amazing and one of the really amazing things about this show is the acting. You know, you, you have just three actors. You have the woman in black, you have uh, the older Arthur and you have the young Arthur and the young Arthur is just phenomenal absolutely incredible. I've seen the stage show twice now and I'm just, uh, both actors that I saw I was just blown away by. So it comes to the film and Daniel Radcliffe is cast and just straight away you, it's just so difficult to watch this film because he's just too young. He needed like another five, ten years on him and it could have worked and we're meant to believe that this guy, you know, Daniel Radcliffe, has a son and it just doesn't come across right, you know, and he certainly doesn't come across as an assertive solicitor. It, it really looks bizarre as well when he's in the village, in the countryside, against all these old men. <laughs> it's just like, now you look like the child. Personally for me, I would have just liked to have seen an actor with more experience because that's what you need for this character. It's quite complex, I think, to really soak in the just the being scared, the fear, the like sort of trying to understand the woman in black's motives and just all these aspects just come together which create this wonderful character and just Daniel Radcliffe couldn't do that with the experience he'd had and to sum up who I've always envisioned as a great character for this role it's always been Andrew Lincoln Andrew Lincoln would be perfect as Arthur Gibbs and it's just one of those upsetting moments where it will never happen. The Woman in Black is a really chilling gothic horror and I, you know, I like that aspect of the film but it just has too many horror cliches that just make me kind of go, oh, you know, did you really have to do that? And then there are certain moments where they actually take it from the play and that's like, oh, yes, because the moments in the play, like, honestly, just thinking about it, I made my voice shudder. <laughs> it really is terrifying, some of the moments that they do in the play, and they do them in the film, but they're done just a bit shoddy, so it's just rather disappointing. Now, I really probably do find this film scarier than I should, and I don't give it that much praise anyway, so I don't know how it must come across to people that don't have a phobia of the woman in black. <laughs> I don't know what the figures are for people with phobia of the woman in black. <laughs> I wonder if it's just me. Maybe I'm like this rarity that I should be in like, I don't know, 
<laughs> the Guinness Book of Records for being the only one with dysphobia. But, I, you know, I do find it more scary because I think I get myself worked up and I, I can't bring myself to look at her. Uh, so, uh, you know, it's, it's one of those really weird things of how do you review a film when you know you're absolutely terrified of that character. <laughs> So yeah, it's it, it's a great gothic, really chilling horror film, but I just cannot forgive the ridiculous Hollywood ending. Couldn't even bring myself to say it then. It's awful. Ridiculous Hollywood ending. <laughs>